Jesus. All right. I greet you, Prabhupada. You come to my house and spend on that night. I will engage you. Oh, yes, baby. In the meantime, he took some permanent speed. Strong. So, for six, seven days, he simply spurs out all the beauty in vomiting and in passing speed. So, <coughs> those vomits and stools were kept in two parts. And naturally, if you pass stool for one day, your teacher becomes immediately happy. That is a fact. The three past school and Mahamad in seven days, naturally she became very happy. So when the boy came, she was sitting there on the door. The boy was asking, where is such and such girl? She said, yes, ma'am. And, yes. No, you are not. Oh, she is so beautiful. And you are so happy. No, I am the same girl. And why you have become so angry? Because I have extracted my duty. Where is that? The scene is too far. See, if you like and enjoy this. <laughs> so actually, if we dissect our body, then the beauty things they are within, some stools, some urine, some intestine, some veins, some muscles, some blood, this is the form. Uh, this is the form. But that stool, urine, muscles, veins and intestine is so nicely decorated that it helps attraction. It has that full attraction, both for the body. So Bhagavad has done that. <clears throat> that the, the illusion of this world is that attraction. What is that attraction? False attraction. The man is attracted by woman, more woman is attracted by that. And the business is going on. Especially in this country I see the girls are attracting by their bodily features in so many ways. So, similarly, boys are attracting girls by so many features, especially by nice motorcar and so many things. So, in every society, according to the standard of living, according, these attractive features are going on in birds, bees. And when they are united, everyone is trying to attract others. The girl is trying to attract another boy, the boy is trying to attract another girl. These attracting features is going on. And as soon as they are actually attracted and joined together, the illusion becomes doubly knotted. Sayur Mitha, the Vedantima. Vedantima means everything is within the heart. But if I study, oh, what is this attraction? If I understand, I will simply combination of blood, stool, and urine, and intestine, and uh, muscle, and skin, and hair, and nails. Then if I study philosophically, so what is it? Have I got any attraction for all these things? No. So it is all hard. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that if we clarify our heart, then we become beautiful. So this Hare Krishna chanting process is clarifying. Uh, <coughs> so, Tayor Mithari Dayadam Thimaho. As soon as a man and woman is combined together, <coughs> That means the knot of material attraction becomes doubly tightened. Then they want apartment, 
I stand there and see you as your disciple. Please save me from this perspective. Then Krishna, in the first instance, replied, Asachyanam Shodhastam Prajnanadam Subhasa. My dear John, because he is accepted Krishna uh, as spiritual master, the spiritual master has the right to chide his disciples. So he immediately chided that Asachyanam Shodhastam Prajnanadam Subhasa. My dear John, you are talking just like a very learned man. But you are full number one. That was his first word. Of course, he did not say directly full number one, but he said indirectly that no, a learned man speaks like this as you are speaking. That means you are not learned man, as you are full. He indirectly said, Nāma sojan di pandita. Pandita means learn. No learned man speaks like that. But because you are speaking like that, that means you are not learned man. Or in uh, one word, you are good. Because Krishna, before Krishna, you are speaking uh, that if I kill uh, my uh, family members, then such and such thing will happen. Then the woman will become polluted and there will be un- unwanted children, Varnasankas, and as soon as there is Varnasankas full of unwanted children, this world will be held. These are fair. Yeah, these are fair. The world has become held due to unwanted children. That is the fact. So Krishna was speaking, hey, Prasuna was speaking, just like ordinary gentleman on the material thing. But Krishna, when he took up his charge, he said that he was uh, hovering over the material flesh. That is not your learning. The learning is when you understand from the spiritual flesh. Atachyanam sutattam prajnavadam suhasate gatasum avatasum sya Nāma-sūtum the pandita, the pandita, the learned man, he does not lament over the uh, body either living or dead. Because uh, bodily platform is not the subject matter for understanding or um, philosophical research. Bodily platform is not very important. The spiritual platform is important. But nobody is discussing about spiritual platform. Everyone is, uh, all these uh, education centers, universities, they are, uh, I mean, say, busy of studying uh, chemistry, physics, uh, uh, biology, uh, mathematics, uh, atmospheric philosophy. That is also on mental speculation theory. Somebody is giving some theory, somebody is giving theory. But nobody is discussing about the eternal spirit soul. That is the defect of this modern civilization. So it is very hard task for us to convince them. But the fact is, either we accept or not accept, it is our misfortune or their misfortune. But the fact is this that, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, or as Lord Krishna said, the mamai wants jiva pita. All these living entities are mind, part and person. So what is the duty of part and person? The part and person is, suppose the same example, just mind the hand is part and parcel of the body, so the duty of the hand is to serve the whole body. That's all. There is no other duty. The hand cannot eat out of its own account. The hand cannot do anything out of its own account. The direction should be from the whole, uh, from me, and then the hand should work. This is the part and parcel duty. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, 
Jive Sarupa Vitta Krishna Dhamma. Just like my hand, my leg, and my tongue, they are all servants of me and the whole. Similarly, everyone, every living entity is the eternal servant of the Supreme. Supreme controller. So the duty of everyone is to serve him. That is natural. That is that. Any other position is disease position. In other words, who is not acting in Krishna consciousness is disease. The treatment is great. Hare Hare Krishna. That's why when a man is bitten by a serpent, there is some mantra. Uh, of course, I do not know whether you have got this experience, but in India there are experts who simply by chanting mantra, uh, he can give life to uh, a man who is bitten by serpent. Mantra, Sadivata, Sarpa. Uh, mantra and Ausadi. Ausadi, there are hearts. Of course, these things are now uh, gone, but there is it still there at first. So he knew that the mantra can be a, a so-called dead man bitten by serpent. Similarly, he has bitten by the serpent of Maya. And this mantra, Hare Krishna, will raise him to come. Krishna comes. This is all. 